Warren William here from Smartest Data, helping you understand the language jargon and all the ins and outs of the stock markets and investing in general. Quick definitions continues with index funds. What is an index fund? In this video, I'll discuss index funds and the difference between index mutual funds and ETFs. So let's go to the video to find and explain index funds. And at the end of the video, there'll be three quick bullet points to take away. Index funds are low-cost mutual funds which maintain a very low tracking error against a benchmark index. The range of index is infinite by market, market cap, sector, but remember, no investment decisions are made. Index funds cover both index mutual funds and ETFs. They are collective investment schemes. Index funds aim to have a negligible tracking error to a stated benchmark index. The objective of an index fund is for an investor to gain exposure to a specific grouping of stocks by market cap, sector, economic region or a country. No investment decisions are made no matter the market conditions. Index funds offer diversification by holding all the stocks in the index. The ability to trade is the difference between an index mutual fund and an ETF. ETFs are traded on the stock exchange, acting like a basket of stocks. Trading in the, new, in the units is often intraday. Index mutual funds offer a tradable NAV, possibly daily, at least weekly. The units are traded through the fund administrator via a subscription redemption process. In closing, three quick bullet points about index funds. So they're low cost collective investment schemes, so index mutual funds and ETFs. They're benchmarked against an index, a negligible tracking error to gain exposure to a specific group of stocks by market cap sector. The range is infinite. Remember, no investment decisions are made. 